Well, folks, it's Friday night and race time at Lakeside Speedway, and here we are with the factory stocks. We got Bobby Tavis, J.R. Billings, Scott Christie, Justin Seifert, Mike Busby, Cliff Hedges, David Holcomb, Jason Ryan, Darren Christie, and Marshall Hewitt. About your top ten. Bobby Tavis in the zero. 15B of J.R. Billings. Looks like Tavis is going to be your first lap leader, but J.R. Billings is right on his backside. As they go down that straightaway, now Mike Busby looking down low with Scott Christie up on the high side. Tavis, still your leader, J.R. Billings in second. Busby and Christie race for that third spot. We're going to have a yellow flag. Got a pretty fast pace here as we come around for a yellow flag restart. Bobby Tavis, still your leader. And that's J.R. Billings in second. Justin Seifert third. Dave Holcomb fourth. And Mike Busby in that fifth spot. Seifert makes a big run on the bottom but cannot get off the corner. May take over that second spot from Billings. Billings runs it in hard. Seifert gets a little bit crooked and has to back out of it. And Bobby Tavis the third. about mid-track on Davis. And he is going to slide up in front of him, but can he hang on to it as they come off of turn two? Davis carries that momentum, and he is going to get back by JR. But JR is going to be on that top side now, so we'll see how this works. Davis is a little bit quicker, but he'll lead lap 12, three to go. Darren Christie once again right there in the middle of it. Now Billings will lead off a two. Billings is going to lead 13. The white flag should be out next time around. Billings up over the cushion into the wall, and that's going to let Darren Christie now slide into that second spot. Now he goes up to the top side. This could be a great finish if he can get a good run off the forward. Tavis kind of slowly down on the bottom, but he hangs on to it. Tavis now looks just as good on the bottom as he did on the top a while ago. Darren Christie, your second place car. And they are going to come around for the checkered flag. And young Bobby Tavis looks like he is going to win this. Darren Christie is second. J.R. Billings third. This is Seifert fourth. And I believe that is the seven. Marshall, you're the winner of the factory stock race tonight at Lakeside Speedway, Bobby Tavis. You know, it just seems like about a year ago I was watching you going over the fence, and here tonight you're pulling down this feature win for the factory stock. Yeah, it's a lot more fun doing uh, winning instead of going over the fence. I know that for sure. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say. You know, it's breathtaking right now. Yeah, it, the first win's got to be kind of special, but uh, man, you just hung on up there at the front, had a couple of challenges, but uh, ran your line, stayed smooth, and, and pulled it down. Yeah, I got a little worried. I was looking at the scoreboard, watching the laps click off, and started making mistakes, and here come Junior. And, uh, <laughs> man, he made me work for it, yeah. but uh, I stuck her down there on bottom, and it stuck, and I was happy to see that, and kind of got I couldn't believe I got it. Yeah. Couldn't believe it. So. Uh, tell us about uh, the car, uh, who helped you build the car or whatever, who builds the motors. 
Uh, this is actually Sean Mulek's old car. Uh, my dad had bought it. Um, Rich Carl, he's over here somewhere. He builds my bullets. Yeah, big Rich. <laughs> and he, uh, he builds a strong piece. Um, Terry Ford, Shane Roach. Um, Terry Ford helps me out a bunch on this car. Uh, Jeff Ashley sets the chassis up, and I got one guy in the pits every week, Mr. Todd Bullock, over here helping me out. So I can't, uh, I can't thank enough people right now. I don't know what. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Well, folks, once again, there's your winner in the factory stocks, not Bobby Tavis the third. And it's glad to see you keep all four wheels on the ground. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's Grand National time. Here's your lineup: Don Mars on that front row, Stephen Dibbon, Tim Shields, Brad Dibbon, Jay Ganell, Gary Donaldson, Kelby Orslander, Gene Claxton, Marcel Jewett, Paul Lafferman, Darren King, and Mike Taylor. Mike Mars is going to lead them through one and two. And there's that 42. Tim Shields looking down to the inside. He's coming, look out. Stephen Dibbon. Your leader. Last one. Stephen Dibbon. Pulling right up there and hanging on to that second spot as him and Mars race for second. Given on the bottom side. Ron Mars up on top. Tim Shields, your leader on lap number two. Four down, 16 to go. Tim Shields, your leader. That's Stephen Dibbon, Gary Donaldson, Don Mars, Gene Claxton, Aaron Kling, Kelby Orslander at the top seven. Through one and two, Dibbon about two car lengths back, and Gary Donaldson about two car lengths, and Don Mars to top four as Shields brings him out of four. He will lead here on lap number six. We're halfway on this one, ten down, ten to go. Tim Shields, your leader, Stephen Dibbon second, Gary Donaldson third, Darren Kling fourth, Gene Claxton fifth, and Brad Dibbon in that sixth spot. Donaldson got around Stephen Dibbon on that low side. We'll see whether or not Stephen gives him that edge down there. And there goes Claxton up around the top side. It's almost three wide as they go through three and four. Donaldson gets squirrely. Has to back out of it. Now that's going to push Gene up there into that third spot. And he's surely going to get a run off of two here and get around the outside of Stephen Dibbon for that second place. Kelby Orslander now, he dives in up there also. And he is going to take over fourth spot. Playing. Kelby Orslander now in that fourth spot. You come around to complete lap 13. Claxton, Stephen Dibbon, Gary Donaldson, Aaron Kling, your top five. Oh, I'm sorry. Now Kelby Orslander is going to challenge Dibbon for the third spot as they go down the back straightaway. Looks like that high side might be coming in, and now Claxton is going to run around Tim Shields. He will take over the lead here on lap number 13. Whether Shields can answer on this doesn't look like it. We've got a yellow flag. No, we don't either. Reflection off Shields' wheels. Gene Claxton, your leader, definitely on lap 14. He's already opened up about a 10 car length lead over Tim Shields, Darren Kling third, Gary Donaldson fourth, and Stephen Dibbon in that fifth spot. Make the pass for the lead, and he is going to take the win. And it's going to be Claxton, Shields, Kling, Donaldson, Stephen Dibbon, and Brad Dibbon. 
That's going to be your top six. Grandpa! 